Good morning everyone. We are the group 9. Today, we will discuss about the digital and conventional learning materials to enhance teaching learning. By the way, I'm Lara Bermundo together with my group mates, Dani Caliona, Rica May Sibilia, Florence Nasol, and Clarence Lovino. Digital Learning Resources the term Digital Learning Resources, or DLR, refers to digital resources such as application or apps, software, programs, or websites that engage students in learning activities and support students' learning goals. Digital learning is learning facilitated by technology that gives students some element of control over time, place, path, and pace. The elements that are already available in digital forms such as audio, video, animation, and simulations are known as digital learning resources. I think that making those tools available is to setting the table for learning. The importance of digital learning resources. Digital tools and platforms are becoming ever more integral to our personal and working lives. Digital learning increases access to education and knowledge while empowering students with a mindset and capabilities that sets them up for success in their present and future. It is a feedback for students can be given through interactive resources. A diversified learning environment can be created using digital learning resources. The student can pause, pass forward, or rewind digital resources to suit their own tastes. Both teachers and students must have access to quality learning tools. It gives teachers useful knowledge on a variety of issues as part of the teaching teaching learning process. It aids in their professional development and keeps them informed of pertinent facts. Some examples of digital resources. Digital resources like simulations, models, graphics, animations, quizzes, games, ebooks, and e notes are making learning more accessible, engaging, and contextualized. So, when we say about the examples of digital learning resources, these are the text, video, photos, and other types of digital material are frequently used to create digital resources. These are components that are frequently utilized to create composite learning objects like those that are shown above. You might choose to combine the components to create your own educational materials. Digital Learning Resources Classified The framework divides digital learning resources into six categories. Basic Knowledge Classes, Auxiliary Extension Classes, Tool software classes, network platform classes, virtual re reality classes, and generative learning resources. When we say digital learning resources classified, these are the articles, seminars, workshops, case studies, and other teaching materials, forums, chat, illuminate collabor or collaborate, online meetings, etc. are examples of collaboration tools. Simulations, software, online laboratories, research projects, etc. are examples of practice materials. Assessment, evaluation, objects include things like final certification and partial evaluation. Digital learning examples. Well-known examples include social media, online games, multimedia, and mobile phones. Digital learning is any type of learning that uses technology. It can happen across all curriculum learning areas. When we say digital learning examples, digital technologies are any techniques, systems, equipment, or resources that produce, store, or process data electronically. It is integrated digital content uses top-notch digital tools to improve student learning, making it simpler for teachers to set each student pace and direction individually. Concepts that students haven't mastered can benefit from opportunities for extra practice or remediation. Six ways to create digital education content. Number one, reach learners with video. Digital content in education is used in remote, hybrid, and face-to-face -face instruction. Number two, add in a digital content. Number three, make your own educational digital images. Number four, Dummify your digital content. Number five, allow learners to choose. And last, 
create digital content with a team. This implies that using digital tools and technologies face-to-face -face with their teacher in a traditional classroom, taking online courses, conducting internet research, or even viewing online videos are all considered forms of digital learning. It is different from online learning because the latter simply entails learning online. Good morning everyone, I'm Danica Leona and I will be discussing about the still images, photographs, and taking pictures. So, let us define first what is still images. So, still images is a data in which a grid or raster of picture elements has been mapped to represent a visual subject. For example, tinanong natin yung mga students natin kung ano yung favorite nilang cartoons and um, ito yung mga posibleng cartoons na maaari nilang sabihin. So, this um, two images can be um, a representation of the cartoons. Another example is the picture sequence, which is common sa ating mga students. For example, itong um, image sa right side, this image shows the um, life cycle of a butterfly. So first is egg, second is caterpillar, next is magiging chrysalis siya, and then... Lastly, magiging fully butterfly na siya. So, we can use this um, sequence, picture sequence, sa science subject. Pwede rin siyang sa TLE. Uh, so, with the use of this, um, students can easily determine yung pasunod-sunod ng sequence or ng pangyari or ng cycle ganun. so um taking talking pictures uh, a motion picture with accompanying synchronized speech seeing etc so here is the example as you can see in the right corner right side corner So, why is teaching with images so effective? So, it creates a direct sensory connection between learners and their subjects that result in new levels of interest and attention. How do images enhance learning? So, visuals help students make sense out of the content and direct attention Increasing the possibilities that the learners will determine the material. So, sa pamagitan da po ng mga images, mas madali sa side ng students na maalala yung lesson na itinuro. So, benefits of using images. Promote scientific content. Um, images help us learn. Images, so images grab attention. So we are EBE ed students, and um, using images, we can grab the attention of our students, lalo na sa mga lower grades. And next is images explain tough con concepts and lastly images inspire good day everyone i am rika may civile and today i am going to discuss the topic about comic strips so comic strips is a series of adjacent drawn images usually arranged horizontally that are designed to be read as a narrative or chronological sequence so so, strips are written and drawn by a comic artist known as cartoonist. So, as the word comic, it implies strips are frequently humorous. So, comic strips have three main parts, the setting, characters, and plots. And comic strips use words with pictures equally and use a frame to show story movement or the flow of the story.
When we say setting, it describes where the story in the comic strips is taking place, while the characters are the star of the show or the story and the plot, refers to the main events that happen story in the comic strips or show the flow of the story. Of course, to make the comic strip more attractive, they use different types or different style of speech balloons that are very creative and colorful or as you can see, masasabi natin ay appealing and can attract the eyes of the audience. So here are the some sample of comic strips. This is also some of the comic strips app that you can search online or in a play app stores. So eto familiar ako dito sa Bilibili. Ito yung Bilibili comics na ginagamit ko today. Alright, so what are the benefits of comic strips? So first, Comic strips help students learn better. The reader can easily comprehend and visualize the story. Comic books make their readers smarter, help children develop memory retention, build vocabulary, and form sentences. It also allows students to express their own ideas in conviction while reading. It can also comic strips is appealing and easy to remember, encourage interpretative thinking, stimulate emotions and empathy, encourage readers to make meaning for themselves, and comics make you want to read, and they use complex language which improves verbal intelligence. It also improves reading. Comic makes you want to read and they use complex language which improves verbal intelligence. Um, like steroids for the mind, comics can even take struggling readers and make them stronger. Comic strips have been used in newspapers for decades to provide a creative way to acknowledge current events, voice opinions, and also entertain readers while keeping them up to date with the news. Com comic speaks to students in a way they understand and identify with. Even after students learn to strong readers' comics, give students the opportunity to read materials which combines images with the text expressed satire, symbolism, point of view, drama, puns, and humors in ways not possible with next alone. Comics also improve literacy. Reading comic books requires a person to read between the line, draw interpretation, and sentences the information. So yung mga comic books ay pwedeng gawin na uh, pampalipas oras and also encourage us to read. So just like Wattpad, there are a lot of lessons in every comic books that we read and we can apply it in our real life situation. So comic book also help us to use our creativity and thinking by interacting with both the text and image the reader can easily comprehend and visualize the story so that's all thank you good morning sir good morning classmates so i'm the next reporter of group nine my topic is all about mobile apps mobile application it is a mobile application most commonly known as Asian app is a kind of application software intended to run on a mobile phone for example a smartphone or tablet PC mobile application often serve to furnish clients with comparable administrations um, those apps are by and large small individual software units with restricted capacity um, this utilization of application um, programming was initially advocated by apple incorporated also it app store which offers a hard of uses for the iphone ipad and iphone touch so next is native mobile application. Um, the native mobile application is the kind of app in which is created and developed for a specific type of device platforms such as Android or iOS using a specialist coding language. Um, to build uh, native applications, the coding language that is chosen by developers 
must be given. Access by the device platform. Typically, application features for the category could be offline mobile games or dictionary apps or etc. Next is the advantage of native application. The main advantage of native application is their superior and magnificent user experience of all things considered designers who build them utilize native UI devices. Um, can I access din nito ang expansive range or APIs likewise, likewise assist with quickening the development work and broadens the limits of application utiliz utilizations. Native application must be downloaded from application stores and introduce straightforwardly into device that is the reason they first need to pass a server distribution process next is web applications web application are software application that carry on correspondingly to native mobile applications and work on mobile device However, there are critical differences between native application and web application. For the beginners, web application use browser to run and they generally written in C CSS, HTML5, or JavaScript. Um, such apps redirect the client to the URL and afterward offer them the choices to introduce the application as a result web applications um, informs clients to make a bookmark on such page for future viewing mm, that is the reason why they require the least memory next is hybrid applications um, hybrid applications combines the advantage of mobile web and native app. It is built using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript running on mobile web view. However, the hybrid app can still take advantage of the device features like capture, GPS, vibration etc um, these are web application that closely resemble native application they may have symbol um, screen application symbol responsive design fast performance and even have the option to function disconnected However, they are truly web application made to look native. Next is cross-platform application. The purpose of the cross-platform apps is to solve the hybrid performance problem and the cost problem when writing a variety of native language for each mobile platform. Although we often confuse hybrid apps and cross-platform apps, in fact, they are completely different. Perhaps the only common future between them is the ability to share source code. Programmers only need to program once and compile or translate into many native app versions corresponding to each different platform. Next is types of mobile application. Mobile applications come in numerous shapes and size 
Here are the most famous mobile application types to assist you with understanding the latest things in the mobile scene. First is mobile gaming application. This is the most famous classification of portable application you would be astonished astonished to figure out the number of clients who install games on their telephones organization invest use a huge amount of time and assist into making games and mobile version of well-known stationary game scenes it is a particularly lucrated market um, according to a new report from sensor tower mobile games downloads which 12 billion which is nearly seven times higher than the second most downloaded category on mobile games next is educational application this category incorporates portable application that helps client acquire new abilities and information for intense language learning application like Duolingo have become strangely mainstream since they give clients the adaptive the adaptabilities they search for in learning educational game application um, are an incredible apparatus for youngster numerous educational application end up being famous among educa educators as well who use them to make their teaching process better or teach themselves further um thank you po good morning everyone my name is Clarence Picanzulli Lobino and the first topic that I tackle today are business or productivity application <coughs> Business or productivity applications, these applications hold an enormous piece of the markets today since individuals are progressively inclined to utilize their smartphone, smartphones and tablets, tablets to perform numerous intricate tasks in a hurry. Business or productivity applications, when we are holding a business, we are looking for e easier capabilities to explore any kind of strategies and way to invest or to earn. By means of technological tools, example, smartphones, laptop, evaluating businesses are a new way to enhance, enhance it, and we are keeping at safety in a detailed strategies. Number 2. M-Commerce Applications M-Commerce Applications The most Famous shopping applications like Amazon or eBay offer the experience of their working assistant forms to mobile users. We are experiencing that and commonly we are taking and continuously grabbing online shopping example in Shopee. Using mobile phone, we can order it in Shopee application and of course, the advantage of it is you can observe when or where the product is by means of information from the application. <clears throat> Number 3. Entertainment Applications Entertainment Applications This application permit clients to transfer video content, look for occasions, talk or reach content on the web. Online media applications like Facebook or Insta Instagram are incredible models. Entertainment application. These are the most favorite and usable application nowadays. This is our sometimes stress reliever. Sometimes it will trigger you worse by the stress because of addiction. But back to the point, entertainment applications are worldwide 
hub it will introduce by this the new world when it comes on new technology and other informative side of the world number four lifestyle applications lifestyle application this general general classification of application traverses shopping style virtual fitting rooms exercise dating and diet application <laughs> lifestyle application lifestyle app is one that accelerate or supports the individual facets that define your lifestyle by this i mean those type of mobile apps related to fitness fitness dating food and of course this is the favorite site of a person that wants a change in her health a information about healthy life and a productive life number five tr travel applications travel applications the primary thought behind this classification is to assist clients with traveling without any problem what is travel app travel apps helps user to research destinations find good flight and accommodation deals and book service apps like Trip Advisor also offer travel guides and allow users to check reviews and ratings from travelers. Second, these apps are travel apps offer advanced searches where one can search for flights, hotels, rental cars, exclusive deals and price alerts. It helps to search the most suitable and the best options for travelers. Customers are looking for more booking choice like details of connecting flights and terminal interchange times. Number 6. Candy Crush Saga Candy Crush Saga, the famous example of a mobile application. Candy Crush Saga's reputation has been huge, yet in addition, enormously divisive the game has no lack of critics in the world of the customer game. Who guarantee it is critical? Manipulative crush grabber of an item whose sweet swapping gameplay interaction is even that unique and of course candy crush not only helps increase dopamine levels but it also helps increase cognitive behavior at the same time we love candy crush and the thrill of beating a level and we hope that someday you might give it a try too thank you number seven the utility application Utility application, these are clear to such an extent that we seriously even understand that we are utilizing them indeed. Utility applications typically have the shortest user session times. Individuals use them to complete things and afterward proceed onward. The, the explanation of this because utility application are very important when it comes utility utilizing your technological tools the role of this app are giving benefit from day one number eight the final thought today mobile de developers and the mobile application that open their value are the most mainstream path for individuals and organization to interface with the internet and of course, it will change our lifestyle, it will change the way we think, and it improves ourselves in order to absorb any information that we gain. Then, applications like these are our secret assets to maximize our knowledge and enhance our learn learnings into a form of good strategies. Thank you. Thank you.